Now the battery is fully charged, we can start our pre-fight servo checks, which is very important. Okay, remove the canopy. Mount the battery with the velcro strap supplied with your helicopter. Make sure the battery stay on really tight um, during, and make sure it won't come off during flights. Now for safety reason, please disconnect the um, motor to the ESC by removing these three plugs. So make sure the motor won't move during the setup. Okay, now we are ready. First plug in the battery to the ESC, like this. And then turn on your transmitter. Okay, now depends on uh, which transmitter you have. You may have mode 1 or mode 2 transmitter. For this particular one, this is a mode 2 transmitter, which the throttle stick is on the left, which control the pitch as well, and uh, rudder, which is the tail movement, is on the left as well. For the right stick, it controls the uh, back and forth movement of the helicopter and the side to side movement. Okay. First of all, set all the sub in the middle. Make sure the two switches are at the backward position for normal flights. And for these two knobs, set it at zero for now. Okay. For the right hand stick, move upwards. And as you see from as you can see from the helicopter, the swatch plates right here, we move forward. And then if you move the stick downward, it will move backward. Make sure the stick is moving correctly or you, you may need to uh, adjust the um, servo, servo direction on your transmitter. But actually they are all preset from the factory, it's just a double check to make sure everything is working properly. Okay, now with the right stick, move it to the left and you can see the swatch tilt to the right. And then vice versa, move it to the right and you can see the swatch tilt to the left. Same thing, make sure it's uh, moving in the right direction, if not, adjust your transmitter accordingly. Okay, now move to the left stick. Okay, right now it's at the lowest position. When you move the left stick upwards, you can see the whole swatch plate will move up. And if you move downward, you move downward. Same with the other directions, make sure everything is uh, moving in the correct directions. And then, for the swatch, with the stick at the lowest position and with no stick inputs, the swatch plate should be level with the frame, that this area right here, from the side and from the front. If it's not level, you can adjust the tie rods accordingly, or you can use the sub to make minor adjustments. Okay, now move to the rudder servo, the tail servo. As you can see, the slider should be in the middle of the shaft. If you move the stick to the left, the slider would move to the right. And vice versa, if you move the stick to the right, the slider will move to the left. Same thing, make sure it's moving in the correct direction, but as the radio is preflat from the factory and everything should move accordingly.